Okay, well, we've got a little bit of a strange setup today. We got like a probe hanging out of the PS5. You may be asking yourself why. Well, we're reading temperature. Right now we're at like 45 degrees Celsius. That's, that's kind of hot, man. I've been sitting here for the past few hours playing some games, watching the temperature, that kind of thing. And earlier it was a little cooler, but right now, yeah, 45 degrees Celsius from my scientific uh, calculations via Google, 113 degrees Fahrenheit. So little science experiment here, and you may be wondering why. Why do I care, right? Well, the, the fine folks over at uh, G-Story, they decided to send me this cooling fan for the PS5. They hit me up, said, hey, would you like to check this thing out? I looked at the reviews on Amazon. It seemed pretty legit and a fairly reasonable price. So I was intrigued. I was like, yeah, let's check this out. Because I, I do have um, the D-Brand Dark Plates, I believe 2.0 with the vents on both sides, does kind of help with temperatures. And normally my usage of the PS5 where I have it in my entertainment center in my living room is inside and closed, you know, it's some glass doors and whatnot. And when you open it up after it's been running for like a half hour, it's like a sauna in there. This thing gets hot. Probably not the best place to have it, but I really don't have anywhere else to put it. So I wanted to see, does this help at all? Right? Now, the probe that I have here it's connected like down here toward the back and it's pretty much the exact spot. Oh, I'm dropping shit. And the exact spot that this has its probe. So let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. Okay, so here, here's the box. Just cooling fan for the PS5. Three speeds, LED indicator, low noise cooling fan, automatic manual modes. And you can select between Celsius and Fahrenheit. The back just kind of shows you how to remove the housing, right? that kind of thing, and some basic information as far as specifications and features. Freeze frame if you want to read it. But let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box and get set up and, and see if it does anything. So there we go. There should be a manual in there. Get that out of the way. And here it is. So it's a, a cover, a faceplate type thing, right? It goes on this side. Uh, it's gonna look wonky with the D-Brand dark plates. If you have the original plates that came stock, this is gonna look all right with the fin hanging out the top, that kind of thing. Uh, same color and whatnot, but we got this big ass fan right here. And it does plug in with a USB, plug it into the back of the PS5, or you could just uh, plug it into an external device, right? So there's the fan. You got some vent holes, big chunky fan there. And then your probe is down here. So about the same spot that I put my probe to check, you know, check it out to see, you know, what the temperature was reading playing a bunch of games for a few hours. And that's where we're at. Extremely hot right now. My room that I'm in, it's a little warm. It's not as hot as it has been, but of course your environment is going to affect the heat and the dissipation and just, you know, the ambient room temperature can affect it. So my results may be different than yours obviously, but let's go ahead and power this thing off. Get this plate off and that one on. Let's do it. I always hate taking these plates off because it's kind of a pain in the ass, but it's not that bad. Lift up right there and push and it comes out. I do have some scuffs from multiple plates that I've attempted to put on, but I always like this one. You know, it's these, these dark plates with the uh, vents on both sides. Kind of helps with the airflow, right? So let's go ahead and get this. And that's, that's I probably already showed in another picture. I put the probe that I was using at about the same place. It's starting to slowly cool down, but it's still pretty damn hot. So let's get that off. And oh, you may see in the corner here, I do have the one for the Xbox Series S as well that they sent me. Uh, we will test that one out in a future video. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get this going, right? Maybe we should have like, let's like, maybe we should just leave the my probe like close to where, like, is this gonna interfere? Let me see exactly where it's gonna be at. Now, if I put it close to it, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna leave the probe on, but just not exactly where that one's at. To kind of compare the temperatures. Hopefully this doesn't interfere and we can get this on. All right, plug it in the back. And the one thing I, I want to point out is when you first power this on, like you power on the PS5 um, and then plug this in, 
And there's like a little trick to change this display from Fahrenheit to Celsius. You pretty much hold the button down while you're powering it on and it'll change between the two. So if you go to Celsius or you're on Fahrenheit and you want Celsius, you just gotta unplug it, hold the button, plug it back in and it'll switch. Simple. I kind of want to monitor if there's any like variation. So I'm sure this is building up right now. And I believe it's on, it's on automatic mode. If you hold the button while it's powered on, it will go to uh, manual mode. So that AA means manual mode, which you can like, you see there's like an LED in there. You can turn that off too, but you can switch between speeds. And you can definitely hear it when it's on high. So right now we're on high. If we hold, if we, uh, I think double click at the LED turns off. But that's like a good indicator of what speed you're on if you're on manual or automatic to know where you're at. So comparing, we're about the same right now, but let's get back into this game, see if the heat starts building back up. I, I don't know, is this a gimmick or, I mean, is this useful? Now, of course, we're going to want to, like, let this sit for a while. So I'm going to let this, like, run through some cutscenes, play the game a bit, and then, you know, see if this has changed. Because right now we're at 42. Earlier, we were at 45. So let me see with the calculations. So that's down to 107.6 right now, degrees Fahrenheit. So let's see if it makes any other difference here. And yeah, both of the, uh, the readings are essentially the same right now. Okay, so I, I've let this sit for about an hour now, um, playing some games, messing around and all that. And the temperature's sticking at 46 degrees Celsius, which is 114 degrees Fahrenheit. Let me go ahead and uh, change it to Fahrenheit. Yeah, 114 degrees there. And I did leave it or I put it onto automatic, so it's been staying on red, so the highest speed here. And I, I don't know, I'm a little conflicted because is, is it really cooling anything? Is this temperature reading really accurate or a good indicator of anything? Where that probe is at, that's like the hottest damn spot of, you know, my PS5. I, I move my hand around like... I could feel warmth from here, like all the way around to the back right here. And then when I put my hand like middle, going all the way around, like it's a little warm, then it gets cool, cool, and then it's pretty cool. Like going from the middle, it, it kind of starts cooling when you, you get toward the top, and then you feel airflow coming out. That's pretty cool. So it's like, it's sucking in air and it's pushing it through the system. But this spot right here is where the temperature reading is. And it's really hard to say. I mean, I know some people have had those issues with uh, their system overheating and they would get that warning. I've never had that. Even though I do, you know, live in the pits of hell and it gets pretty hot around here. And when it's in its encased sauna in my entertainment center, I've never had any overheat warnings, but... I mean, I would think any kind of fan could help, but I think with just the airflow that I already have, like if I had the original plate and it was blocking the airflow more, uh, maybe this would help a bit more, but and maybe the reading would change. But right now I'm not really getting much in the way of a variation of reading from what I was seeing earlier. You know, when it was just cool and, and you know, barely doing anything, uh, not powered on for long. Yeah, it was quite a bit cooler, but just running it continually and playing games, this is about what I've been getting uh, with this on and without it on. So it's hard to say, does it help or not? I think maybe it does. It's just where that probe is at is just kind of misleading a bit. Maybe, you know, everybody has a different use case. I don't see this harming the system in any way. I mean, at least I don't think. I mean, with it sucking in air, it's kind of blowing out everywhere. I, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think on this. If you're interested, I'll put a link down below. Um, neat idea. Uh, it's got some positive reviews on Amazon. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say or do with this thing. <laughs> but there you go, my kind of scientific experiment.
Still hitting at about the same here. I mean, this is showing a little bit higher than that. Maybe it has cooled down a little bit, but let, let me try again. Let me change it to Celsius to compare. Yeah, I went down like slightly where that this specific probe is. So I don't have them exactly at the same spot. Yeah, let me know. Bye.